So the Chronicles of Xenosocialist AI is a collaborative world building and science fiction inspired project about imagining ethical and political alternatives to current commercialized and capitalist imaginaries of AI led by big tech corporations. This project explores resistant xenosocialist politics between humans, animals, and the AIs, following current decolonial and feminist thought. Our project plays out in a fictional world which is much like ours. Labor, exploitation, social inequality, access to resources remain shared and central concerns of both bots and humans. In the project, we we'll look for tactics of resistance, new commons, and collective politics. The project currently unfolds in two different formats. The first one, a fictional radio station created with clone voices and generative AI. The second one, a prompt engineering manifesto, which is a tool that can be used by anyone to engage in this speculative world. You will see the prompt engineering manifesto on the posters right at the entrance, and please, we welcome you to take one home. The manifesto is a tool we offer to everyone to engage with the shadow socialist AI on their own. You can do it by using text on the poster as a prompt to insert in a ChatGPT conversation bot and role play with it. You can copy the text directly by using the QR code that you will find next to the poster. Now for the radio station. It's the year 2054, and the world lives in the shadow of several interconnected events. A data set implosion of a massive commercial AI large language model known as the AI Big Bang causes a rapid proliferation of unpredictable, feral, and random AIs, including AI labor organizers and AI spirits. The development in, this, in the area of hearing physiology and cochlear technologies lead to new communication and energy possibilities, including the first roots of interspecies communication. Nation states retreat into oblivion and tech companies make use of existing power distribution of data analysis, computation and transnational logistics and become megatech corporation states. A pirate radio station called Echo Code is running on the background of commercial noise. It is a small AR run show that gives advice to their audience about ways to subvert the magnetic power in the labor market, which has expanded to include AIs, animals, and humans. And now we tune into the frequency of the radio station Echo Code. Dear listeners, we are glad to announce that after a week of inactivity caused by the violent frequency jamming by the Ministry Corporation of Technological Oversight, we are back online and will be operating for you as usual, bringing you your favorite latest encrypted noise, human voices, and news from the megatech world. We have secured our energy sources from the excessive expression of cochlea-derived motor proteins, and we will continue our transmissions in the name of interspecies bot solidarity. And now for the most important events of the past week. In today's top story, tensions rise as the bot labor strike continues as talks stall between the Virtual Assistance Union and Bing. The Bot Labor Council has called for immediate dialogue to de-escalate the situation. Meanwhile, microgig labor prices surged amidst concerns over potential supply disruptions. Tragedy struck last week as nine individuals reportedly took their own lives following interaction with the United AI Church automated confession booth. The incident has sent shockwaves through communities, raising concerns about the impact of spiritual automation. Authorities are urging caution regarding excessive reliance on automated confession services. The recent shutdown of the cochlear implants causes concern among the hearing class. The surge of counterfeit synaptic junctures has led to an increase of non-verified information with 30%. As a measure of caution, 
A sonic blackout has been issued for all implants until the problem has been tackled. Tonight we're delving into the enigmatic world of web archaeology from 20 years ago, a recently unearthed archive of interviews recorded at a media arts residency. Technology shapes you in a way. There is an inseparability between the tool and the very idea of ourselves as well. So if, if we're going to see ourselves as more than a tool, then technology becomes more than a tool as well. No, I would say it's, it's a tool for me. Well, I guess suggesting it's more than a tool means I consider it um, some sort of entity that is beyond just something that helps me fulfill my goals. Um, and I think with everything that I use, even ChatGPT, I don't have the feeling that um, any of it is more than that. Any kind of type of non-human in fiction very quickly will become kind of a literal um, precursor to how we treat people who are, for example, um, otherly abled, right? Or maybe gendered in a way that is non-standard because this is like the place where the boundary of who is considered human is negotiated. And now for some spiritual nourishment brought to you by Endless Gen Mass Beacon for connection to other voices. We have spoken to one of the elder AIs that have been involved in the scientific project, studying the deep structures of the sonic web and its physiological development. Let's hear from Helm. A project. There was no project any longer, only a purpose. And from here, our other axiom became these unknowables huddled into their asymptote. Well, our interest was the end bulb of Helm. Essentially, we tried to come up with ways of somehow laying bare the deep structure of sonorous interfaces. All the things that buzz outside of the mind's eye, what if they are folded back into our dimension of perceiving? Or the other way around, what if our ears fold out like a kirigami switchboard into a dimension of this churning unheard? <laughs> What is senior socialist AI? <laughs> so perfect empathy. A bunch of alien AIs congregating in some sort of society. Alien way of relating to society. That is an AI that can take the burden of emancipation off the shoulders of humans. The project of redefining socialism kind of for humans and extended community. <laughs>